Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create product variations on ClickFunnels. It's kind of a newer feature that ClickFunnels has that lets you create product variations for your products. Now, I'm not gonna walk through how to create products on ClickFunnels. I have another video on that, so if you need help setting up products in the first place on ClickFunnels, link in the description on how to set up products in ClickFunnels. Uh, this video is gonna be strictly focused on product variations, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm here at my ClickFunnels account and I'm on my, an order form page, so I have the opportunity to add products. So let's come on in here and add a product and add some variations to that product. So let's go ahead and add a new product here. And again, I'm gonna go very quickly through this stuff. Another, I have another video on creating products and you know what to put in each field and all that stuff. So we're gonna go quick here. Uh, go ahead and fill out our product details. We're gonna be selling fish here. And we gotta go ahead and set a product price. We'll just say $10 here. And I'm just gonna scroll on down here to the bottom and save and next. And now we get into the product variations area. So this is what we wanna focus on in this video. So let's go ahead and turn this switch on. And now we go ahead and add the variation type. So we could say something like color and we could do red or let's make it pretty red, blue, green. So we have red, red fishes, blue fishes, and green fishes. And then we can go ahead and save and add another. So this would let us add another uh, variation. So we can go with size now. So size, and we'll say, let's go with small, small, medium, large. All right, so I have my three sizes now, and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the save button, and that kind of like finalizes my different variations and wait for it to load here. And also, you could go ahead and add additional variations if you need to. So if you were like, oh shoot, I needed another variation or I need to edit a variation, you can go ahead and do that uh, later on, as you see here with the edit buttons or add another buttons. But anyway, it goes through then and it creates all the different variations based off of the elements or aspects that you've given it. For example, we have you know a small red, a small, blue, a small green, and so on. So uh, it goes through and you know puts all those combinations together. And so we're left with, I would assume, nine very different variations. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Three times three is nine, makes some sense. So anyway, we can, we'll just come across the top here uh, on the different options. So we can go ahead and add images for our variations. So this can be cool. Uh, you can go ahead and you know add a different picture for your different your different colors or sizes or whatever different variations you might have. I'm just going quick here to add a few so I can show it to you on the next page. So you go through, you can add images. So that's cool and you'll see how that looks in a few minutes here. And then it just gives us our different variations, our price per unit and then SKU. Uh, if we hit edit here, we can go ahead and change the price per unit. So this can be very handy obviously, like if you wanna charge a few extra dollars here or a few less dollars for another variation or whatever, you could go ahead and set that there. You can also set up custom SKUs if you need to do that, so that's handy. You can also add image alt text or product descriptions as well. So you can go ahead and add that content if you want to, um, and it kind of helps with your SEO and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just gonna hit update variation and leave it at the default. If you run out of stock or something on a variation, you can go ahead and flip the switch and that particular variation won't show up anymore um, on the order form. So that's kind of nice that they give you that type of control to where you know you can hide what you need to hide. So anyway, it's, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty self-explanatory on how to create the variations. And yeah, everything else is the same settings as any other product. There's nothing unique. You can't do like a special fulfillment email for this variation versus this other variation has another fulfillment email. They're all gonna get the same fulfillment email if you set up fulfillment email. So point that out real quick. Um, same concept here with follow-up actions. You can't do unique follow-up actions per different variation. So it's gonna be the same follow-up action whether they buy a small blue fish or a large green fish in our example here. So that's a little unfortunate. I wish they'd give you more options on how you handled, you know, after somebody purchased a variation, but it is what it is at this point in time. So just pointing that out real quick, some of the limitations. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do save and close now. And we're gonna go to our order form and set this thing up properly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a variation to go ahead and create my order form with variations on it. So let me 
do that real quick and open the page in the edit page or the page builder so that way we can add our particular fields. Now, another downside real quick of the variations is they do not work with the two-step order form at this point in time. So that's one downside, no two-step order form with variations as of January 3rd, 2021, it does not work. Maybe they'll change it, uh, but at this time they don't. So you have to create a, a custom order form. So I'm just gonna delete this out of here to, to remove any confusion. And now we're gonna go ahead and add new element. And we see we got a couple new options here. So product with variation selector and product uh, with variation order summary. So if you don't see these two options here, that's because you haven't set up a product with variations yet. So you need to go ahead and create a product with variations in order to get these elements to show up in your page builder, okay? So if you don't see these options, set up your product first in order to get these options to appear. So anyway, we come in, in here and of course, you probably wanna go ahead and add like your typical form options, right? You wanna add, you know, first name, last name, email address, all that type of stuff. So make sure you add, you know, the appropriate fields to take the order, address fields, etc. Otherwise, of course, you're, you're not gonna get the, the shipping address or the billing information. So make sure you have the correct fields uh, present on your order form um, in order to to take the orders. But then you wanna make sure that you add the product selector field, so that way they can select their variation. So, and there it is. Uh, you see the image right there. We'll preview it in a second here. Um, and we can also add the product with selector order summary as well that you know gives the summary of the individual's order. So we'll just add those two fields real quick. But again, don't forget to add you know the credit card field and stuff like that. Otherwise, people aren't gonna be able to pay for your, your stuff. So add add what's needed uh, in order for people to check out and buy. So I'm gonna save it real quick and then we'll preview it. And that should about, about wrap up our video. So here we are on our sales page now. Um, and here's our product selector with variations. So we can come in here and we can see here's a blue, small blue fish, or it's me holding my book here, you know. Uh, we can go ahead and add to order now. And then let's say we want a red, a small red fish as well. We can go ahead and add that to order. And you see it generates the order summary down here, which is pretty handy. So people could select different quantities and stuff like that uh, to go along with their products. So they could order multiples, multiple small blue fish or one small blue fish and you know, five small red fish and so on. So that that's essentially how the form works. Then they'd come through here, you know, enter their credit card information, check out, go to your OTO one page, say yes to that, of course, go to your OTO two page, buy that too, you know, and you'll make millions of dollars in no time flat. So anyway, that's how you do the product variations. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.